Hello dear students, this is grade 11 mathematics lesson on unit 4, mathematical reasoning. Today, we focus on quantifiers. After completing this lesson, you are expected to determine the truth value of statements involving quantifiers. So, let's continue to the lesson. Open statements can be converted to statements by using quantifiers. We can change open statements by using quantifier. For example, if you have this statement x plus 1 is equal to 0, this is this open statement. I can convert this open statement to statement using quantifier. For, for any real number, x plus 1 is equal to 0. This will be a statement. If I say this one, for any, for any real number, x plus 1 is equal to 0. This becomes a statement because it is true value is this false. For any real number, this cannot be 0. For example, if you take 4, 4 plus 1 is not 0. So I convert this open statement by using this for any real number. So this for any real number is a quantifier. Therefore here there are two types of quantifiers. The first one is it is universal quantifier and second one is it is existential quantifier. We use the symbol, this symbol for universal quantifiers and its meaning is for all or for every, or it is for each. We use a symbol, this symbol, for existential quantifier. For existential quantifier, we use this symbol. Its meaning is, there is or there exists. Its meaning is, there is or there exists. Now let's see example for this. Write the following in symbolic form using quantifier and its truth value. Here you say, there is a natural number x says that x plus 5 is equal to 7. To compare this, the quantifier is there is. This is an existential quantifier. There is. There is a natural number x. x is the natural number. There is a natural number x says that x plus 5 is equal to 7. So this is a symbolic representation of this statement where x, the domain x, is the state of natural number. Okay, so there exists x or there is x, x plus 5 is equal to 7. This is this, the symbolic representation of the above statement where x is the element of natural number. So what will be this truth value? The truth value, you, you can find one number from natural number satisfying this equation. This is a meaning. Yes, we can find one number. If you take 2, 2 plus 5, it gives 7. It's true. Therefore, there is a natural number satisfying this equation. So, the truth value of this statement is it is true. Okay, now let's see this one. For all natural numbers, x x plus 5 is equal to 7. The symbolic form of this one, uh, it is the quantifier is this for all. Therefore, here it is for all x, where the domain is natural number, x plus 5. x plus 5 gives you 7. This is symbolic representation. So, Let's find this truth value. Any natural number, if we put in place of x any natural number, it gives you 7. This is the statement says. But if we take, for example, 4 plus 5 doesn't give you 7. So this statement, this truth value is this false. Therefore, here is a symbolic representation in this one for all x, x plus 5 is equal to 7 where x is an element of natural number, its truth value is false because any 
natural number cannot make this true. Okay, now let's see uh, generally what quantifier means. For some XP of X, this statement means there is some value of X in the given domain satisfying the statement P of X. This is the meaning of for some X P of X. And take this one. For all X P of X. The meaning of this one means all values of X in the domain satisfy the property P of X. It means that all values of X in the domain satisfy property P. Okay, now let's see examples. Determine the truth values of the following, assuming the universe is the set of the set of real numbers. The universe set of real numbers. So let's see this one. For all x, x squared greater than zero. Is this statement true or false? For any real number, take any real number, a square it is always greater than zero, it says here. By the way, this statement is not true. For example, if you take x is equal to zero, if you take x is equal to zero, zero is a real number. If you square it, zero greater than zero, it's false. Therefore, every real number does not satisfy uh, this statement. Because of this, this it is true value it is false. It is true value it is false. Now let's see the second example. Here it says here there exists x say that x plus one is equal to x minus one. There is a number from the set of real number satisfying this equation. So Let's try to find the value of x here. If you solve this one, this equation, x plus 1 is equal to x minus 2. Take x to this side, you will have 0. This is equal to, take 1 to the other side, minus 2, minus 1 is minus 3. This statement is false. It says here, you can take any real number, you can find a number satisfying this equation. Therefore, there is no real number satisfying this equation. But the statement here says there is real number satisfying this. So it's false because there is no real number satisfying this uh, equation. So uh, the answer is this false. There is no real number satisfying this one. Now let's proceed to the next. For all x, 2x plus 4 is equal to 2 into x plus 2. Here it says, any real number satisfies this equation. So let's check. Let's solve this one. 2x plus 4 is equal to, distribute this one. You'll have 2x plus 4. Take 2x to this side. 2x minus 2x, 0. Take 4 to the other side. 0 is equal to 0. This is always true. So this means that you can take any real number so that this equation is always equal. Therefore, here, the statement says, for any real number x, this equation is always true. Yes, it is true. You can take, for example, if you take 1, 2 times 1, plus 4, 6, 1 plus 2 is 3, times 2, 6, and so on. You can take any real number. It always satisfies this equation. You can see this one. This means 0 is equal to 0. Take any x. It can satisfy the equation. Therefore, for any x, this is always true. Yes, it is true. The truth values it is. The truth value is true. Now, next, this one. For some x, x squared plus x 
plus 1 less than 0. For some real number x, there is a number that satisfies this inequality. So, let's solve this inequality. To solve this, let's use the graph. Since it is quadratic, let's see its graph. As you can see, its leading coefficient is positive, it opens up. And let's check whether it crosses x axis or not using this one, using the formula b squared minus 4ac, b squared minus 4ac. Here, b is 1, 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1, c is also 1, so this gives you 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Since b squared minus 4 is less than 0, this graph doesn't cross x-axis, does not have a root. That means x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0, has no root. It doesn't cross x-axis, and it opens up. The graph, roughly sketching, it may have this form. It's above x-axis, it opens up. This shows this function, x squared plus x plus 1, is always above x-axis. It's always positive for any real number. For any real number, it's always positive. But here it says, there is a number satisfying this inequality. No, this is, since this always, it is greater than there, it's above x-axis, it's not less. So we can't find a number satisfying this inequality. Therefore, the truth value of this one it is false. We can't find a number, so it is false. Okay, now let's proceed to the next part. Negation of quantifiers. The negation of for all x p of x is given by for all x changed into for some x and you take the negation of p of x. This is it. And the negation of for some x p of x is equal to for some x is converted for all x and negation of p of x. This is how to determine the negation of quantifiers. Now, let's see example. Here give the negation of the following. What will be the negation of for some x, x squared less than 0? It's negation. Is for some x converted into for all x. And the negation of this one, x squared less than 0, is this x squared greater than or equal to 0. The negation of less than is greater than or equal to. So here, x squared greater than or equal to 0. So this is the negation of, for some x, x squared less than 0. So it's negation t is for all x, x squared greater or equal to 0. Now, let's see this one. All birds can fly. What will be the negation of this statement? Here, it's a quantifier, all. Its negation is sum. And here, birds can fly will be converted into birds can't fly. Therefore, the negation of this statement will be some birds can't fly. That's it. Now let's proceed. Let's see quantifiers occurring in combinations. Now let's see this one. For some x, for some y, p of x, y. What does this mean? This means there is some value of x and some value of y so that the property P is satisfied. That means there is at least one value of x and one value of y so that the equation or the given statement P of x, y will be satisfied. That's the meaning. So, let's see example. Determine the truth value of the following. Here it says for some x for some y 
x plus y is equal to 5. The meaning is the domain is the set of real number here. You can find at least one value of x and one value of y satisfying this given equation. Yes, we can find, for example, if you take 1 and 4, 1 plus 4 gives you 5. So there is at least one value of x and one value of y satisfying this equation. Therefore, it is true's value is this true. Now let's see the other one. Look this one. For some x, for some y, x squared plus y squared less than 0. It means that you can find at least one value of x and one value of y satisfying this inequality. If you try to find one value of x, for example, let's take 1, 1 squared plus, take any other number here. When you add, it always gets down there. It can't be less than 0. If you take, for example, 0 here, 0 squared plus, if you take y to be 0, there's some, it can't be less than 0, it's equal to 0. Therefore, if you try to search at least one, in, one value of y and one value of x, you can't find uh, from set of real numbers satisfying this inequality. Therefore, the truth value of this statement is this, is false because we can't find one value of x and one value of y satisfying this inequality. Now let's continue to the other example. Here it says, for some x, for all y, p of x, y. What does this mean? This means there is some x which stands for all y so that the property p is satisfied. In other words, there is at least one value of x which stands with all values of y so that this property or the property p of x, y is satisfied. This is the meaning. Now let's see example for this. Determine the truth value where the domain is this set of real numbers. Here it says, for some x, for all y, x plus y is equal to y. What does this mean? There is one fixed, or there is one at least one value of x, which stands with all values of y, so that this property is satisfied. That means, Take one value of x here, that value added with y always gives you y for any y. Can you find this value of x which stands with all y? Yeah, we can find at least one value. For example, if you take 0, if you take x to be 0, 0 plus any real number, it gives you the real number itself. 0 plus any real number 2, it gives you to itself. 0 plus 10, it gives you 10. So we can find one fixed value of x which stands with all values of y so that this property is satisfied. Therefore, this truth value is true. Now let's see this one. Here it says for some x, for all y, x plus y is equal to 5. It means that there is one fixed value of x so that if you add with all the real number, it gives you 5. If you try, you can't find. It means that a fixed number added with any real number gives 5. It can't be. It's, it's not possible. Therefore, we can't find a fixed x added with any real number to give 5. So, since we can't find this statement, this is false. Its truth value is it is false. Let's continue. Let's see this one. For all x, for some y, p of x, y. What does this mean? This means take any values of x, you can find at least one value of y satisfying the property p of x, y. This is the meaning of this statement. Take any value of x, you can find value of y. So that's a property satisfied. So let's see example for this. 
determine the truth value of the following where the domain is set of real number. Here it says for all x for some y, x plus y is equal to 0. This means take any real number, you can find value of y. Let's take any real number. For example, if you take 2, you can find y satisfying this. Yes. 2 plus y is 0, y is negative 2. Take any as a real number. For example, if you take 100, 100 plus y is equal to 0, we can find y. Take any real number, x, you can find value of y instead of real number. Yes. If you take root 2, root 2 plus y is equal to 0. So, you can find y. y will be this minus root 2. Therefore, take any real number x, you can find value of y, at least one value of y. Yes. Satisfying this equation? Yes. Therefore, the truth value is true. Let's proceed. Look this one. For all x for some y, y is equal to the square root of x plus 1. Here it says, take any real number x, you can find value of y satisfying this with the domain set of real number. So, here if you take, for example, minus 4, minus 4 is this in set of real number. The square root of minus 4 plus 1, it gives you minus 3, square root of minus 3. If you take any real number x, some, you can't find value of y here because the square root of minus 3 is not set of real number. Therefore, since this statement says, take any real number x, you can't find y, we can't. For example, if you take negative 4, we can't find value of y. Therefore, because of this, this statement is this. False, this true value is false. Now let's see the next one. For all x, for all y, p of x, y. This means take any value of x. Take any values of x. That value of x stands with all values of y. So that the property p is satisfied. So let's see example for this. Assume the domain is the set of real number. Here it says, for all x, for all y, x squared plus y squared is greater or equal to 0. Here it says, take any real number x, that real number x added with any real number y, gives this, satisfies this inequality greater or equal to 0. Yes, it satisfies. For example, if we take 0, take any real number, 0, 1, 2, and so on. If you square it, you are some value, add with 0, you have a value greater than 0. Or if y is 0, you have greater or equal to. So, you can check any real number. So, you can take any real number x and any real number y, so that this is greater or equal to 0 will be the true statement. So, it is truth value is true. Now let's see this one. Here it says, for all x, for all i, x plus y is equal to y. Here, take any real number x, that value will stand with all y so that this property is satisfied. Here, if you take 0, this 0, stands with all y, so that 0 plus y gives you y, yes. But here it is for all x, not for some x. If you take 2, 2 plus any real number doesn't give you the real number itself. Because of this, this statement is false. Therefore, it is truth value is false. Now to summarize what we have seen today, the first one, for some x, p of x, this means there is some value of x in the given domain which satisfy the property p. Second one, for all x, p of x, this means all values of x in the domain satisfies the property 
p and the this one for some x for some y this means there is some value of x and some value of y so that property be satisfied this for some x for all y this means there is at least one fixed value of x that stands with all values of y and this one for all x for some y this meaning is take any value of x you can find some value of y so that the property pxy is satisfied and the last one is this for all x for all y p of xy this means take any values of x that value of x stands with all values of y so that the property p of xy is satisfied so this is all about quantifier so please do exercise 4.7 on page 135 and exercise 4.8 on page 137. This is all about today's lesson. Until next time, goodbye.